I don't know what the biggest letdown of E3 was. I think it was the Mad Max reveal. Because everyone was like, Oh man, Fallout 4! And then the Earth just peels away to reveal Mad Max! And everyone was like, FUCK! <laughs> That's what I was like anyway. I was like, Ah, oh, it's Fallout 4! And then, uh, Fallout is Mad Max! He's even got a fucking dog! <laughs> Ugh. Just make Fallout 4 in the Skyrim engine and you'll make a fuck ton of money. Why does no one realise this? <laughs> Why does the, the Pokemon thing, HD Pokemon, release that, you'll own the marketplace. Fucking Battlefront 3. Just don't fuck it up. Just don't fuck it up and you'll be fine. Ugh. Pre-ordered app on GameStop. Just kidding, GameStop doesn't exist anymore. We don't make money. I've been drinking energy drink, by the way, so... <laughs> yeah, you seem hyper as much. I am hyper, and I want to take it out on E3, because... <laughs> didn't... Didn't they fuck up as well with, like, free trailers in the Microsoft conference? Where there was Microsoft no sound? Microsoft fucked up at least one, and Sony actually fucked up at least one. Oh, but Sony. No. Oh, they just... They've... They've failed completely now, haven't they? They fucked up a trailer. <laughs> Never mind the fact that Microsoft have been monitoring your living rooms for years. Yeah. Bullshit! I don't get that. Like, <laughs> that was an elephant in the room. They never discussed the NSA thing at all, did they? No, I don't think there's actually any credibility of it. It's just more of a timing thing. I think, mean, yeah. The timing thing is in. Oh, we've been done for watching people, but let us put a camera in your room that you can never fucking switch off. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's bad timing. Okay. I love how Sony opened their conference as well with the one thing that no one gives a shit about. The PS Vita. No one fucking cares about that. Technically, technically right, but I think they're trying to sort of push it, but still not like... You know, like not like the Kinect thing. They're, they're still not, not trying to like force it on you, but they're still trying to like say, like, hey, you can do stuff with it, you know. The, they're not like... To play your PS4, you must have a PS Vita integrated into your eye socket. <laughs> exactly. Have you seen like these memes of the Kinect? It's like, I'm sorry, Dave, I can't let you play that game. <laughs> <laughs> I've already seen a few. Yeah, fucking hell. It's like, sorry, Dave, you can't turn me off. But okay. I think Sony have won this console generation. All they have to do is keep up this performance. Oh yeah. Then it'll be Nintendo, like halfway. And Xbox will still sell units because there will still be stupid fucking little kids who are like, Mom, I want an Xbox! Yeah, and their mum will buy it and then they won't realise that some guy in a room is jacking off to her hoovering or something. What was your favourite game of E3? Oh god. Uh, I don't know what my favourite game was. Like, I could easily say The Last of Us, but... That's just... That's just a given, isn't it? That's just like yeah. a given now that everyone's gonna love that game. Um, well, the thing is, I actually did play the first Kingdom Hearts, and I know like my more like hardcore like kind of buddies like kind of gave a shit, but I actually I thought they did the characters in two different franchises. So I would say just from sort of like a novelty, just kind of like a nice to see it kind of angle. It's nice to see mm. that Kingdom Hearts Three is coming out, but don't I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent. Isn't Kingdom Hearts like all the Disney owned characters? Yeah, it's Disney combined with Final Fantasy uh, characters. Do you remember now that Disney owns Star Wars as well? Yes. Which might make that game a little bit better, just a tad. You know, fucking stabbing Darth Vader in the face with a giant key as Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's many other games where you can do that. <laughs> well, yeah, think about it. You could technically. Mickey have... is Yoda! <laughs> <laughs> you, could have, yeah, you could have Cloud Sephiroth and Final Fantasy VII talking to Darth Vader and Boa Fett while talking to Sora. Oh! oh. <laughs> I didn't even play the first two Kingdom Hearts, so I might play that. Sounds so good. The first one is definitely fun. I, it might be considered a little too simplistic for you, but I think they did a really good job. I, I looked at it for what it was. I didn't expect the grand experience. I just like was like, okay, let's see what this is all about. and. It didn't turn out actually that bad, I don't think. Yeah. I think it's worth at least fun to play. I would check it out at least for a minute. If you really just don't like it, then fuck it, just don't play it anymore. Yeah. <sighs> but I like it. Probably my biggest question in E3 was why the fuck is Master Chief wearing a poncho? <laughs> what the? 
You're wearing a suit and armor! Sand is not gonna hurt you, you fucking moron. I mean, his big concern is the weather when there's a fucking giant robot beetle thing the size of the moon yeah, emerging from the ground in front of him. Just in front of him, might I add. Not, not close enough to crush him, but just close enough to look impressive. Yeah, it's kind of ironic to bring that up because some people were starting to get boners thinking that it was going to be the reveal for uh, uh, little, uh, number three. I just had it, goddammit. Oh, oh Half Life. Half Life 3. It should have been. And then it yeah, because the suit, the suit. And they're just like, oh. He pulls it back and it's like, another Halo game. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Oh, I hear. Jesus. I just loved, um, like a couple years ago, that guy for, um, what was it? Massive Damage or something, that game. He was, um, going, oh, these, these battles, these battles are based on real battles in feudal Japan. And this is what actually happened. And then it cuts to, like, some of the battle sequence and he goes, so we have this giant enemy crab here. <laughs> <laughs> Feudal Japan, best known for their giant enemy crabs. Ugh. I think E3 was good this year. Real good. Oh, shot, shot across the bow, oh, man. Unless, oh. unless you're an Xbox fanboy. <coughs> Emo. <Sure. laughs> I, I already said I'm getting a PlayStation. I think everyone said that. Do you want a PS4 or the VCR? I mean the Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> The picture I posted, the PS4 is two PS2s put together. Yeah, I have seen that, yeah. It actually looks like that as well. Just like one's been put a bit to the side. How long does. How many days are left of E3? Well. So how many? Tomorrow at least. Yeah. There should be some. Yeah, should be some good games. Have they shown Call of Duty Ghosts yet? Uh, they <laughs> Was the storyline in that in that they added in that they have no engine and a dog? Much. They have a dog, <laughs> and you know they're gonna kill that fucking dog. You know they're gonna kill the dog for emotional impact, and you're gonna hate Activision for fucking ever. <laughs> Probably. And then, oh, uh, what's that? What's that animal rights group? Not animal rights um... Personally, I prefer a Call of Duty game where you where you play as a minigun wielding guinea pig. That would be fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> What's that company? They they always like they yeah. try to get on this case. For, is that what it is? What? Like animal cruelty in yeah. movies? Yeah, oh. Peter. Oh, Peter. Yeah. yeah. You mean the oh, ones that tried right. to sue Nintendo for Mario wearing a Tanuki suit, <laughs> which was hilarious, might add, because it's not a real fucking animal. <laughs> or is it a real animal? No, Tanukis are not real. They just look like raccoons. Though the, the, the Tanuki skin looks very oddly like that character in Animal Crossing. You mean, you mean the Tanuki? Huh? You mean the Tanuki in Animal Crossing? Oh, it's a Tanuki, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, whoops, my mistake. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, God. 